we have all driven in our car with a backseat driver and we know how unpleasant it becomes and then came along GPS calm and quiet clear directions no aggravation not telling me I was stupid or anything like that and I said wow what a way of communication I should learn from it since that time I have learned a lot of lessons from GPS lessons of communication and I want to share those with you. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be good. Instead of a half stick of butter, I'm gonna put a whole stick in today. <laughs> My husband's getting overweight and I'm really, really worried about him. What should I do? This is a sensitive topic. There are many pitfalls and it could play out in many ways. Let's take a look. I, I really think that you're getting overweight. I think you're getting fat. This, look at this butter. You're going to put a whole stick of butter. He has not asked for any help. Most probably he will see it as a criticism. What if the GPS did this? You look lost. It's easier to see here. He did not ask for a commentary. We need to turn the GPS on before we accept his help. Let him bring it up. You know, I'm, I am gaining weight. Maybe you could stop being so lazy and get up from your fat ass and start exercising. Interpreting and answering your husband's statement without being invited is very dangerous. Don't assume that he is asking for help. He may just be thinking loudly. He may be just sharing. We don't want the GPS to get turned on just by listening to our conversation in the car. I'm lost. Then find your way out, dummy. It has to be turned on formally. I might need your help. Your husband is asking for help. The GPS is turned on, but the destination has not been set yet. What does he want help with? Sometimes we set goals for other people which do not fit their mind and their style. GPS is not going to tell you where to go. I need navigation help. I will take you to the Hustler Club. You have to turn it on, program it as to where you want to go before you start your journey. I might need your help. How can I help you? I need to lose weight. Now he has given you a goal. But you need to precisely know exactly the information which will help you to help him best. For instance, suppose you need to get to the Empire State Building. If you just say, I need to go to New York City. And GPS says, Here are your directions to the Hustler Club. No! It has given directions before you have specified your address. In the same way, you need to find out exact details from him before you give him advice. For example, how many pounds he wants to lose. What are your specific goals? I want to lose my gut. How much? Like 10 pounds. Like what? You could go and take diet pills and things like no, that? No, I want to exercise. Eat better. And for how long are you going to do that for? About a month. You still do not know how he wants you to help him. It is like being guided without setting route preferences. I will take you to Times Square. It will cost you $30 in tolls. I don't want to pay any tolls. Tough luck, loser. Now before you start telling him what you are going to do, please ask how he would like your help. So how can I help you with your diet? Seriously. 
I guess stop buying all those cookies and snacks and chips and stuff. That'll probably be a big help. Really? Yeah. Done. I will bring it. What have you done right here? Number one, you have waited for the GPS to be turned on. Number two, you have discovered his destination. Number three, specified the address. Number four, set preferences as to how he would like to reach his destination. Now, you are communicating like GPS. Your husband will appreciate your help and not feel criticized. Thank you for watching.